Let's see, well, it all started my cousin and him. They were neighbors. And she texted me with that whole, oh, I'm hanging out with my husband and my good friend Eric, and, you know, I'd like you to meet him. And in my head, I'm like, oh, dear God, another setup. <laughs> Well, at the time I was a corporal, I just returned from a corporal's course when I um, was about to meet Jessica. Her cousin's husband, Brandon, told him, hey man, I'm purposely going to set up a, uh, a uniform inspection, a Charlie's uniform inspection, where I can, you know, come over to your house when she's there and have you check my uniform. You banged on the door, and then whenever she opened it, you walked in and went like this, and you're like, Corporal Lancha, reporting for duty, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my god, he's weird. <laughs> and then I remember I waved at him, and then he did his, and I was like, but at least he's cute. <laughs> so that's how that started. I knew whenever he deployed, right before it was going to work out. I wrote a letter every day because it just, it kind of felt like when I did it that I was, we were together. That was like just what got me through it all, is knowing he's been gone this many days, I know he's safe, he knows what my life's like over here. Every 15 days she would send me a package, it would have an envelope with a picture of, my, of me and her on it, or just her, and she'd douse it in her spray, and um, it felt like I was talking to her again. We were talking a few weeks before um, I deployed, just seeing what we had for our future, and then honestly the deployment was going to be the test, see how we were going to act towards one another being gone. I didn't expect it, that proposal right then, because I kind of was like, okay, he has to ask my dad. He, you know, he's not going to have a ring, he's in Afghanistan. I didn't expect that would happen. After the sat phone kept dying out a hundred times, uh, I called him back that last time and I said, I'm going to cut to the chase. I'd rather do this in person, but I want to ask permission to uh, marry your daughter. And he goes, well, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we went exactly as planned on uh, how I was going to ask her to marry her. Everything fell in right where it was supposed to. As soon as I saw him, it's just, all I wanted to do was just tackle him and hug him and be like, thank God you're finally home. In the end, I, it was just amazing to finally hug him again and feel that he's actually there and real. Whenever you see him there, it's, it's like life is whole again because the man you want back is right there. So I really couldn't have expected a better way of proposing. Just right off the bus and there he was. <laughs>